we are going to study about hybridization and let's take the example c2h2 so we have carbon with 1s2 2s2 and 2p2 orbital here we have 2 and here we have 2 through excitation we receive this type of structure because we are requiring four bonds that means four hybrid orbitals for ex, uh, for hybridization and in hydrogen there is one electron and it is one is one one electron so let's draw the structure of c2h2 in a rough manner there is two carbon atoms and two hydrogen atoms and thus here we can see we need a triple bond here in a triple bond we will be having two pi bonds and one sigma bond so so we require two hybrid orbitals because one carbon atom is surrounded by two sigma bonds so we require two hybrid orbitals and thus in this two hybrid orbital we have one s orbital and one p orbital and thus we see that it is sp hybridization now let's uh, draw the structure one carbon atom and one carbon atom over here it will be having two hybrid orbitals to be specific it will be sigma bonds and we have two pi bonds in a single carbon atom and a pi bond comes in the p orbital the s bond is completed in this one orbital and we have pi bond the else are pi bond we have two sigma bonds so we can consider this and this as sigma bonds so we have two pi bonds remaining and we uh, do the pi hybridize pi bond hybridization by p orbital so the first pi bond completed and we give the second pi bond with one electron now this let's consider this is px this one px this be py this be py so this undergo sidewise overlapping with each other sharing two pair of electron and thus this is the structure of c2h2 hybridized at Thank you.